So I despise cultural Marxism just as much as any other traditional kind of guy. But I don't think that's the real problem. Cultural Marxism is not the poison. It is a symptom of the poison. The reason that cultural Marxism in the forms of feminism, critical race theory, gender theory, pretty much any form of egalitarian ideology, the reason that that is pushed so incessantly and reinforced at every level, and the reason they want to get to kids as young as they possibly can in the school system, and the reason that it's reinforced by the media and the news, uh, in, in universities, in every conceivable outlet, it's being pushed and reinforced constantly, is because your average white European does not have these sensibilities native within themselves. In fact, it's against their native instinctual sensibilities. And so it has to be promoted and pushed endlessly at every opportunity Because deep down, the white European race ain't buying it. We're, we're a hierarchical people. and We've always been a hierarchical people, a traditional hierarchical people. So egalitarianism doesn't jive with us very well on an instinctual level. It has to be pushed over and over and over again. So really, feminism, critical race theory, gender theory, these, this bullshit, is not the real problem. And I think people need to understand this, that this is, a, to focus on these issues of cultural Marxism in any form, is, at this point, I think, more of a distraction. It's doing more, uh, it's not doing harm, but it's not doing good. It's not actually addressing the root cause of this problem. It's like a symptom of a disease. And we need to look at the underlying virus or bacteria that's causing it. Because once the underlying problem is dealt with, the symptoms will alleviate themselves. So we need to look at the people who are actually funding and pushing these ideas incessantly at every conceivable media outlet and educational institution. Those are the problems. It's a foreign element of people which has usurped power in our societies. And until these people are dealt with the problems will persist. So instead of focusing all of our time on dismantling the bullshit that they push, we should be focusing our time and resources on developing some way that we can actually serve justice to the people who are pushing it. You don't just go after symptoms in a diseased man. You go after the cause, the physical things which are inside causing it. Attacking ideas that will never, ever make a difference. Because the truth is, this isn't a battle of ideas. We're not in a debate with our rulers. And it doesn't, it's not like they got into their positions because they convinced everybody beforehand. So, until these surreptitious rulers, the source 
of this poison is dealt with, and it won't be dealt with by debate, I promise you that, my friends, until that source is removed. These ideas will never be ended. They'll never uh, go away. So we need to remember this. Because the ideas are being pushed from a source which is untouchable at the moment. And we need to change that. Thank you for watching.